This is something that you've probably seen quite a lot on um, on the Volkswagen, um, the newer PD engine, the one with the fuel pump out the front, at the front of the engine. Um, this particular one is CBA. Um, we're getting a lot of fault codes coming up saying intake manifold flat motor. Now traditionally the intake flat manifold flat motor was this one here and uh, that you had to change that and, and that would fix it. You've got your EGR valve here which also gets quite dirty but we've got two intake manifold flat motors. We've got this one here and then we've also got this one here on these newer engines. Sometimes they've got a plastic manifold and you can bolt this one off. Other times it's in an aluminium manifold and it, this flat motor comes as the entire manifold. In this case, that's what I've had to do is replace the entire manifold. And the fault code that you'll be getting will be intake manifold flat motor, um, position not reached or something along those lines. Fault codes regarding the intake manifold flat motor. First of all, you've got to establish which one it is, which one's causing the trouble. So all I do is just disconnect one and see if the fault code changes. If it doesn't, then the one that you've got is the one that you're on. This is your old flat motor. And the bit that causes the trouble is this bit here. This little arm that moves the veins backwards and forwards. So if you look in here, it just moves the swell flaps backwards and forwards. All that does is change the direction of the air going into the engine. As they wear, you get movement here on this spindle. It gets measured wrong, and then this flags up a fault code. So you end up with these. The only way to get rid of it is to either replace the manifold. There is um, a little device available on the internet which bolts in it's just it's basically just a piece of aluminium it bolts in and creates a stopper for this arm to hit and then um, it basically gets around the fault code of this going over center uh, it's quite a clever little tool I've fitted it a couple of times it seems to have worked um, so that's one thing to bear in mind so that's what you're doing you're replacing the manifold for that reason be careful that you don't end up just going in, oh, it's this one here, and then chucking one of those on, because they're all quite expensive. Be careful to make sure you get the right one. <clears throat> and then swapping them out isn't that much of a job. It's, um, it's just all your pipe work off, your um, injector harness and the, the glow plugs, uh, they just pop off. So it's all fairly easy. You've got to take your common rail off in your injector pipes. Um, this will all come off, the EGR and the intake manifold flat motor will all come off with the manifold so you can unbolt that when it's off the car uh, which makes life easier. And then obviously don't forget you need your diagnostic software to get rid of your fault codes. Whilst you're in there clean out your EGR and your intake flat motors, any other excess carbon that you see hanging around and you're done. So there we go. Happy Christmas.